even more bizarre. I'm related to Van Horn, is that what you're saying? The thought crossed my mind. However, I was able to confirm that you do not share blood with that family. That's comforting. But you still think I'm connected somehow? Yes, I do. It just seems kind of crazy, that's all. When you land, search the lodge thoroughly and learn as much as you can. It's been abandoned for decades, but I have a hunch both Van Horns were there recently. <sighs> How much time we got left? Hey, buddy, did you hear me? Hello. We don't have much time, so I'll get right to the point. Your old boss, Barrow, is trying to tempt you. Have you taken a moment to contemplate the meaning of this? He's the one that hired you. He guided you through the ranks at SCU and has kept a close watch on your career. Perhaps he's done this under false pretenses. He may have ulterior motives using you. Welcome back to Condemned to Bloodshot for the final video in this uh, re-recording stuff series. As always, let me pause this here. As always, the original camera recorded Let's Play versions are on the channel under the playlist Condemned to Bloodshot Outtakes. And this is a VHS rip from an old normal difficulty playthrough. Just gotta put that in for every... Uh, level that I've recorded for this and put that informa information you really in. expect to find anything out here on the flip cold yeah who said that hmm I seem to have had my Brightness jacked up a little bit here. Come to think of it, how did that pilot get out there? Like under the wing? Did Agent Thomas here pull him out? A little explanation would be Thomas. nice. Time you level with me. No bullshit. Yes, yes, you have every right to question me. Look, there are some of us who see you as the threat, the enemy. Where do you stand? I see you as an asset, a special tool too great to be wasted. Remembian. Remembian? <clears throat> Hello? Oh, don't worry. I'm just going to call you and tell you something very important about yourself and hang up when you ask a question. Exposition! Hmm. So there must be something fishy about this bridge. Well, conveniently, it breaks. like a baby. Good. Could you help? Hmm, that looks like an arm. Receiving evidence. A human arm? Ew. See if you can determine how fresh it is. Let me pause this. I'm pretty sure she's seen worse 
than a, a human arm laying out in the Arctic in the first game. Seriously. Oh yeah, this part coming up is practically impossible on standard definition. Oh. What am I looking for here? The watch prompt came up. Mm. Guess maybe looking for something. Not Hold on, let me pause this here. Of course it's going to be a little distorted because of the uh, pause lines, but tell me if you can read a thing on this watch. A thing. In standard definition. And you're going to have a little easier time than I am, or than I did while playing this, because this is all cropped and zoomed for widescreen monitors. Not what I had originally played it on, which is a standard definition 4.3 TV. Where this is all letterboxed because they don't know how to support 4.3, obviously. Can't remember if I consulted a guide for this in this particular playthrough or if I'm just guessing. The score will tell. Yeah, that looks like a guess. Seriously, how are you supposed to do that? Yep. Unfortunately, that doesn't help. You better oh. get a sample and send me the data. Rosa, I can't read it because monoliths are too dumb to handle things for 4.3 televisions. Idiots. Okay, give me a moment. The skin tissue and blood type are definitely human in origin. I'm also detecting concentrations of mineral salts, urea, and How? FYI, I'm still working on that saliva sample. Yep, that's nice. I wasn't actually expecting you to finish with that in 30 seconds, you know. With all this snow? Dehydration can also be caused by disease. Kidney failure, dysentery, hydrophobia. By the way, Ethan, hydrophobia is the later stages of rabies. So watch your step. Okay, let's just follow this. Now let's just call it what it is. Quest marker. It's just not nearly as bad because it doesn't literally hold your hand and point you exactly where you need to go. You might get lost in this linear environment. A barrel of formaldehyde. Rosa, I found a body. Can you make an ID? Yes, that barrel will surely help identify the body. Okay, 
mail. SCU, that's readable enough. Oh, and pretty much a repeat of the watch. Yeah, the boots, that'll help. Let me pause again. Again, it's a little distorted because it's paused, and it's a VHS, so that's what they what VHSs do when you pause them. Uh, tell me if you can read anything, anything at all. No. Fuck you too, monolith. So, judging by the performance of the watch, I'd say this is certainly a going to be another poor or poor score at least it's not like these are really difficult puzzles here either I know this name one of Dorland's men lucky guess very odd nobody but you should be up there I'm starting yeah. to get a bad feeling about this hell of a time to change your mind Yeah, the, the watch and the wallet, they're like ridiculously easy, really easy puzzles. <coughs> I'm doing the whole finger close thing here, puzzles. But they're impossible to do on a standard definition television. No, I can't even imagine be those being all that readable on a large standard definition. <coughs> so sometimes developers need to understand. I actually forgot you could punch those lights <coughs> out. Yeah, developers need to understand that not everybody has the money for all these fancy high-definition televisions. You need to have some actual support for other resolutions. You know, I guess that's too much work, despite the fact that developers have been doing that for decades with their games. Well, maybe not decades, but plenty long enough. Longer than this... Uh, Console's been around. Oh, look, another dead man. Hmm. You know, even though the audio is only coming out of one speaker of this impromptu audio system, that's better than the one I use for the city museum, the quality really isn't that bad. His aside, of course. But you know, of course, it, it's an old VHS cassette, so of course the audio is going to hiss, but quality is actually pretty good. And again, the same is true for the video here. Hmm, somehow I don't think bears actually do that, nor do I think they're actually ever that large. By the way, I think this cassette is a TDK brand. I wonder what they do nowadays, considering VHS is pretty much dead in most uh, most areas of the world. Who knows? VHS might still be prevalent in... Uh, that was guy kind of crawling away. VHS may still be prevalent in some... Uh, um, second and third world countries that have technology enough for electricity and all that. But still, you know, for a tape as old as this is, and in SLP mode, this is pretty damn good quality. Oh yeah, and we're kind of running from a bear here. That's a little more important than uh, talking about the merits of the video vertical heel to scan cassette. And I died. That wasn't a very good, or good death cam, because you can't really see anything. Oh, hello, bear. Goodbye, bear. Can't close the door. Stuck on something. Don't worry, I'm well hidden. And everything. Hey, stop 
stop throwing shit at me. quickly just pushes that thing out of the way. Oh, and of course because I forgot to close the door, the bear that was clearly nowhere near me catches up instantly. Why? I don't know. Bad game design? Maybe. Upgrade note. You can place waypoints on your GPS thing. Oh look, I, why can't I do the same thing again? Let's mess with this a little bit. Clearly shot the bear and the bear only, and the propane still exploded. I appear to be dragged off by something unknown. up to. I don't understand. This can't be a sanctioned SCU operation. But they're using an SCU frequency. Find Van Horn's library. But do it carefully. And quickly. It's a conspiracy, Rosa. Majestic Cole must be behind this. <sighs> now I'm genuinely curious about what the field of view is for this game. Because it definitely looks a bit wider than most console games. Oh, time for some stealth. Remember, remember Snake, this is a sneaky mission. down there. Why did I... Oh, I guess even back then I was trying to get this damn achievement. I found the door to the library, but it seems to be rigged with some sort of device. Possibly an explosive. Oh, shit. Nothing is ever easy, is it? Can you give me more information? No. Give me a minute to look up this number. <coughs> wow, CCM-12X. Class A. High-power detonators used to control multiple remote blast points. Real 
such a wealth of information on this particular piece of machine that just so happens to be there. And you can't shoot the you can't shoot through the door. You can't shoot through the door guy. Yep, I've seen to be trying for that achievement here as well. Can never get it. I'm certain I kill more than at least five guys with the antlers every time I try this level, and it doesn't give the give me the achievement for doing so. Real annoying. Then again, achievements are worthless garbage anyway. So what's the point? Why do I not have the flashlight on? That just does not make any sense to me. There we go. Hmm, riot gun. Hmm, let's see how many more guns we can find just lying around here so somebody can make a terrible joke about America and guns. walking around so cautiously for or why I'm turning off lights hop over yeah, I'm gonna adjust the tracking here a bit picture may be degrading in quality I'm trying to get it to go a little better it looked like it started going a little blurry for a bit there. The assault rifle. And the lever rifle. Which again, I must question the inclusion of Considering there's really no advantage to using the lever rifle, lever action rifle, over the assault rifle. <coughs> like lever action, I found to let you uh, reload a few times without having to visit an ammo box. But at the same time, there are so many assault rifles laying around in this level from these SCU guys that it's really not an issue at all keeping yourself full of ammo unless you're. Just spraying bullets everywhere like you're playing serious Sam. What am I doing here? You can't go there. something different, I guess. Oh yeah, I suppose I should make this um, mention here as well as in the camera recorded version. That this is pretty much the level that signifies a lot of the things that people generally complain about for this game. You'll need to disconnect the explosive from its housing and quickly get it outside. Throw it out a window if you can. Get out of here, Rosa. Yeah, there's quite a lot of emphasis on gunfights in this level and a number of the levels that follow. And that I think that's really one of the big things people complain about for this game in comparison to the uh, first one. I 
honestly, I think better complaints would be the fact that uh, the gameplay was, yeah, see here, kind of reloading. Why we couldn't do that with any other weapon, I don't know. Yeah, bi much bigger, better complaints about this game would certainly be that the gameplay generally turned a little closer to like just being a first-person brawler than a first-person detective horror type thing. And the other one would be some absolutely awful dialogue writing. Like all those instances of, shut up, dramatic music. Oh no, dramatic music, then, shut up. One uh, thing will bother now. Let's just see. Wow, 25 minutes already. Ugh. And I died because I decided using the lever action rifle would be a good idea. Even though it's literally the worst gun in the game. Awful. Fortunately, there was a checkpoint after throwing that away, which is convenient. As, well, as convenient as something could be in a checkpoint-only save system. Let's see, do I smarten up and get myself an assault rifle instead of this garbage? Well, I threw it at a lamp, so that's a start. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I have to reiterate, the field of view in this game is definitely at least somewhat larger than most console games. Kind of a refreshing change of pace from 65 degree or lower field of view on a uh, widescreen vi video. Which, considering <sighs> Morrowind supports only 4.3 and has a field of view of 75, 65 and below is pretty pathetic. Oh! Don't worry, I'll just kind of spam bullets everywhere and suddenly headshot. Sounds a lot like Brink, to be honest. <laughs> Golf club. Why would you want to do that? reason I can think of is to reenact a certain scene from Bioshock. Oh yeah, that... <laughs> that lighting transition is awful! Oh, I, I think I might have missed this TV in the uh, camera recording version. Sound too uh, worried there, do you? Lever rifle piece of garbage. Yes, it is. <laughs> 